Today's video is brought to you by Clever RX. Hey, Dr. Paul here. We've got a newborn baby and dad is asking me a question. Yeah, there's the soft spot on the top of the head. Yeah. yeah look at this bumpy head and then. Right yeah. there. So why is that? Why, why is that there? Why do we have a soft spot? Well, let me borrow this little one, this little cutie. Oh, you are so adorable. So what I want to point out here is that there's this little ridge right here mm -hmm. and there's another ridge right there. There's a little ridge going along here and across here and then in the back there's another one. These are the sutures. So the skull is made up of plates. And in order for this little one to pass, I don't know how mamas do this. <laughs> <laughs> how does this baby pass through the birth canal? He had a cone head. I bet. <laughs> this guy behind the camera had the biggest cone head. He was so beat up. Yeah, that guy. That guy. <laughs> he was so beat up 35 years ago or so. 34. Oh, 34? <laughs> so I made my youngest son a year Younger. too young and my Maybe oldest son a year too old. And I think I'm showing my white hair age. Age. I, I know your birth dates, oh. actual years. I just didn't do the math. Okay. Um, in order for the skull to fit through the birth canal, those plates will kind of overlap. Mm -hmm. And they're designed in a way that this little area here that we call the anterior fontanelle stays open for the first few months of life. Designed. It's amazingly designed. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Whoever figured out how to make all of this work, if you believe in a divine maker, uh, it's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, it allows for a pressure valve, so to speak. So whatever conditions might develop in, in our body, a change in electrolytes, change in hydration, uh, you've got a relief valve. Because the brain sits inside a solid skull, if we didn't have an ability when there's so much pressure getting through the birth canal and maybe changes in fluid volumes, etc., around this time, uh, brain swelling could cause if it had no release valve. This episode is brought to you by Clever RX. Everybody likes to save money, and everybody should be saving money when it comes to your prescriptions at the pharmacy. I have a prescription that I was paying with insurance almost $100. With use of my Clever RX link, that price is down to $13 and some cents. You simply need to click on the link in the description, download the app and put in the group ID number, or use the QR code we've showing you right here. This is the best in class program for pharmacy discounts. I use it myself. You're gonna support the channel and you're gonna save lots of money. Now back to the show. It could cause the brain stem, so the brain's connected to your spinal cord that goes all the way down your spine. And when you have a head trauma and pressure in the brain, it pushes your brain out that hole at the bottom of your skull and you can get paralyzed or die. Mm -hmm. So this is a na nature's relief valve, if you will. Now that really isn't a very good explanation of why, but oh. it's the best I could come up with. <laughs> the, the soft spot is a real thing. It is not something to be that worried about. Right now I can feel there's no bone under my finger right there. That's creepy. Yeah, <laughs> and, and this is about the right size soft spot. So I'm running through the edges of it right now with my finger. It's a little triangle, about two centimeters across that way and that way and, you will gently push just and I can gently push it doesn't do any problem so not a problem at all I was taught in my training that if this is bulging kind of like a grape mm -hmm. that that could be meningitis mm -hmm. which is true uh, when I was in training I took care of I want to say hundreds but it was more like maybe 30, 40, 50 cases of meningitis. It was, there was a lot of meningitis back in those days. Um, and I think I saw maybe a couple where it was slightly bulging, mm -hmm. but it's just not something we see anymore. As an interesting aside, Portland had a measles outbreak uh, about a, several years ago. Mm -hmm. And one of the Academy of Pediatrics recommendations for treating measles is high dose vitamin A. So uh, some of my patients learned about this and do, did three days of high dose vitamin A for their infants. And I had two babies come in with bulging fontanelles, the biggest bulges I'd ever seen, which is like, whoa, that's not good. 
Yeah. Right? And we know that high dose vitamin A can be toxic. So mm -hmm. while it's very important for helping you fight infections, uh, it's been recommended for measles infections in, in, in children. You don't want to use it unless you absolutely have to. So that was the only time I've seen bulging. Now sunken, where this is dipped in, mm -hmm. you will see that with dehydration. So if a, if a kid is vomiting and diarrhea to the point where they're just keeping nothing down and they lose like 10% of their body weight, mm -hmm. if that happens to a little infant, you can actually see it sort of sunken in, mm -hmm. just as a little sign of dehydration. Is his sunken? No, his is about normal. I mean, I suppose you might say a little bit, but I think it's just because those sutures are still overlapping, okay. so it makes it look sunken, but it's perfect. Great. The posterior fontanelle is almost always closed at birth. I didn't even know there was one. Yeah, there is one right here where the occipital bones meet, uh, occipital and uh, parietal bones, but I don't feel it. And I almost, I mean, you can find it, there's the spot, but I don't feel a, a really an opening. Mm. Eh, maybe good. a couple millimeters, mm -hmm. but doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway, there is your little factoid about fontanelles in newborns and the cutest baby you ever did see. The reason is, I'm gonna put this baby between these cute parents. Look at these parents. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is a cute baby. All right, unfortunately, because of the era of masks, you don't get to see how amazingly beautiful these people are, but they got nice hearts, nice spirits. Thank you guys for sharing and thank you guys for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. <laughs>